All right, today we are digging into Proxmox to uncover a real hidden gem. I'm talking about a super powerful trick, one that's buried deep in the config files that can make your virtual machines completely self-resetting. Now, you're not gonna find this in the GUI, there's no fancy button for it, but trust me, it is an absolute game changer. You'll wonder how you ever lived without it. So, let's just dive right in with a question, one that could totally change how you think about managing your VMs. What if, what if you had a machine where any change you made, installing software, messing with system files, even, you know, running some sketchy malware, just vanished the moment you hit restart? And think about what that means for a second. We're not talking about carefully managing snapshots. We're not talking about running complicated cleanup scripts or going through some long, painful rollback process. Nope. This is a clean, fresh out of the box start every single time, automatically. And here's the kicker. The best part of all, all of this incredible power, it comes from a single flag. In your VM's configuration file, seriously, just one line is all it takes to build what is basically an invincible machine. Okay, so how on earth does this actually work, you know, under the hood? Well, it's not magic magic, but it is a surprisingly elegant trick that uses a lesser known feature of QMMU, which is the engine that powers Proxmox VMs in the first place. What this trick does is create what's known as an immutable VM. Now for these machines, persistence, you know, the ability to actually save changes, is basically a bug, not a feature. The entire point is to make the machine forget everything when it reboots. I love this analogy. The perfect way to think about it is like a transparent whiteboard sheet that you lay on top of your desk. The base installation, your original setup, that stays completely untouched underneath. Everything you do just gets written onto that temporary overlay. So the lifecycle is really just a simple four-step process. When the VM boots up, Proxmox creates that temporary overlay. As you're working, all the changes, all the writes go there. Then when you shut it down, that overlay gets completely destroyed. And the next time you boot, you're right back to a pristine copy of the original disk. It's simple, it's effective, and it's incredibly powerful. So now that we know how it works, the big question is, where would you actually use this thing? I mean, this is definitely not for your production database, right? But for some very specific situations, it is an absolute game changer. Okay, first up, IT training labs. This is a total lifesaver. You can let students and apprentices just go nuts, experiment, break things, and learn without any real consequences. Instead of spending hours and hours reprovisioning machines, a simple reboot is all it takes to fix everything. No more admin headaches. Second, and this is a big one, for cybersecurity pros analyzing malware. This guarantees a completely pristine, uncontaminated environment for every single test. You never have to worry about that, oh no, did I forget to take a snapshot moment before running some suspicious code. Every single shutdown just nukes the session, making sure your next analysis starts totally clean. And third, this is perfect for any kind of public-facing kiosk. You know how it is. People download random stuff, they change the settings, they generally just cause chaos. With an immutable setup like this, you just schedule a nightly reboot and the machine becomes completely self-healing. Now, if this whole idea sounds a little familiar, you might be thinking of that classic tool, Deep Freeze. And yeah, that's a great comparison. The really key difference here, though, is that this isn't some piece of software you install inside the VM. This is a native feature of the hypervisor itself. It's built right in and it's totally free. But of course, a power like this, it's not without its risks. Before you get all excited and rush off to implement this on all your machines, there are some pretty critical downsides and dangers you absolutely have to know about. So what's the hidden price for this magical reset button? I mean, where does that magic of the temporary overlay actually happen? The answer to that question, well, that's where the biggest risk comes from. So here's the deal. The crucial trade-off is this. You get a VM that's totally invincible, but... The price you pay is putting your host storage at risk. See, every single temporary change, every little file you download inside that VM, it all gets written to the root file system of your Proxmox host itself. Specifically, it lands right in the slash temp directory. And that leads to the key risks. First, if you have really heavy writes from the VM, you could fill up your host's root partition and crash the entire Proxmox server. That's a big one. Second, some users have reported compatibility issues, especially with Windows on UEFI systems. And finally, just remember, this is a command line only feature and you should never ever use it on a machine where you actually need to save data. 
So with all those risks in mind, let's look at exactly how to do this. And then you can decide if it's the right tool for your setup. And here it is, the entire secret, the whole trick. It all boils down to this one simple flag, snapshot equals one. That's it. That's the little piece of text you need to add to your VM's configuration file. So how do you do it? You just SSH into your Proxmox host, find the .conf file for your VM. It's usually in slash etsy slash pve slash qumu server slash. And on the line that defines the virtual disk, you just append comma snapshot equals one right at the end, just like you see here. Save the file and you're done. This really spells it out, doesn't it? It shows that clear dividing line for when to use this trick. For a student lab, a malware sandbox, a public kiosk, heck yeah, it's perfect. But for a production database or any server where you can't afford to lose data, absolutely not. Every reboot would just wipe it all clean. So at the end of the day, you now have a new really powerful tool in your Proxmox toolkit. It's a scalpel, not a sledgehammer, right? It's perfect for very specific volatile environments. And that really just leaves us with one final thought. Now that you know the secret to creating a VM that literally can't be broken, what will you build with it?